today with my friend Cambria. Hey guys. Or Brie, which fun fact, uh, do you want to tell them your YouTube name? Like yes. how that all, I don't even know. So my real name is Cambria, but my YouTube channel is Brie Loves Beauty. So I got Brie from yep. Cambria. And it was funny because so. when she came over, she brought that up and I was like, I just said to Dan, Dan, I'm like not 100% sure if her name is Cambria or Brie. I'm like, I have you what on my phone. What do I call her? As Brie Cambria. <laughs> no, funny? you don't. Yes, I do. So today, Cambria and I actually went to a local or our local Whole Foods, and it was really fun because she doesn't have one like near the area where Can she you lives. That? She's got a Trader Joe's though with cute models working. <laughs> There's German models working at my Trader Joe's. <laughs> so we decided to go to Whole Foods, and we decided to do a Whole Foods. Haul. Now we have a lot of products ranging from like food, beauty products, and the reason that this fits in Express Yourself October is because we're expressing ourselves through our shopping. Absolutely. Obviously. Food, feeling good. Yeah. So I'm going to let you pull your first thing out and we're going to try all these things too. So I'm going to put this Oh together. yeah, that's going to be really exciting. We are actually going to be splitting this haul up into two parts. Yep. So the other half is going to be over on Cambria's channel. So you'll have to check that out because we went a little bit crazy at home. We Foods. had fun. It was uh -huh. so good. We made grocery shopping like so exciting. <laughs> I think we were there for like two and a half hours. Easily. I'm not even kidding. Easily. Mm -hmm. Easily. Because we ate lunch too. Uh huh. And we had to, like, at the end, it was two and a half hours. It was like, all right, let's finally pick it up. Like, we, we need to make to ourselves out leave because we, we could have just hung out more. Force ourselves into the checkout it's line. So sad. Sure. Did you try everything? Uh huh. Okay. So, the first thing that I got is these. Is these, is that right? That I don't works. know. The Mary's Gone Crackers. That's weird, but they're cookies. I know. And it's Mary's Gone Crackers. So, these are the chocolate chip, gluten free, and dairy free cookies. So. We don't have to try it. I feel bad that we're gonna like open it. No, everything. let's open it. Let's okay. do it right now. Let's okay. do it. I wonder so. if they called it Mary's Gone Crackers because they thought, I'll get scissors if you want. They thought it was Thank never you. gonna be like anything more than crackers. And then they branched out into cookies and they were like, whoa. Yeah, it turned whoa, out they were cookies. doing well. Yeah. <laughs> Mary's Gone Cookies. Here we go. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers, Cameron. Here we go. <laughs> Are you not so in love? I'm not so in love. Not really. I'm sorry, Mary's gone crackers. Mary, you have gone crackers. <laughs> actually, now that it's settling in my mouth, the aftertaste is actually better than the initial. Oh, it is. Taste. It's good. The chocolate's nice. Yeah. It's got a very um, almost like earthy. Yeah, like I don't love it. I wouldn't be like, ooh, I want it. But after it's settled, it's better like a bite later. And mm -hmm. I think our technique moving forward should be to like split things because I feel bad that I just took a whole cookie. And I want really? like, a whole, whole cookie and I want like thing. two bites. I'm like, eh, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even mention to you guys, we actually did a Cambria's Kitchen over on Cambria's vlog channel. Mm -hmm. So we baked these like really amazing like banana chocolate almond things and they're so in good. the oven right now. So well, I don't know if they're good, but they smell good. Fingers crossed, yeah. So this next thing, I actually got this because Cambria like said she loves sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna try this. And this is the Food Should Taste Good brand in the barbecue sweet potato chips. chips. They're kettle cooked. So. I have, a, I have a seriously good feeling about this. Actually. I actually do too, because I really do like barbecue chips. Here we go. Ready? I really like it. It's mm -hmm. mild. It's super mild. That's like the perfect word for it. Because mm -hmm. it's really yummy, but it's the barbecue flavoring that's really mild. It's not overpowering at all. Mm -mm. Normally with barbecue chips, they're very like... It's almost like the grain or whatever the sauce or salt or whatever oh, is like all over much. it. Yeah, it's overpowering. This is really good. These are actually really good. Mm -hmm. And they're sweet potatoes, which are like way better for you than normal potatoes, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. They have a lot more fiber. They're, your digestive system can metabolize them faster. And what's nice about these two is that a lot of sweet potato chips are very like chewy, and these are actually like they have a really nice crunch to them. So. Yeah, they're very. Crispy. These are really really good. Yeah, this is my third one now. Mm hmm. Okay. So what's next? Bowser, no. Bowser's really excited about our food. So the next thing is these mini cocoa runes, and this is the brownie flavor. Mm. And these, what are these? It's just like a raw food. So it has like coconut and almond flour and maple syrup and everything like that. I really have high expectations. I'm not gonna lie, my prediction is that this is gonna be Gross. the best. <laughs> we gotta do it at the same time. Okay, ready? Ooh. 
Let's wait, let's pause. Let's do this. We don't want to be anti. No, I think you're gonna like this. <laughs> if you're gonna like those, you gotta like this. Wait, should we take these out? You think they're done? Why is it getting all done? Why don't you turn the oven off and leave them in there? And then after we try not to take out, genius. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. I put the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> I'm very scared. I really like it. But I really like food like this. I'm gonna give my honest opinion. I think it's very coconutty. I was just gonna say mm -hmm. that. If you really like coconut, I actually think you'll flipping love you will, these. I love it. This is delicious to me. I can see why someone thinks it's delicious. I don't love it. You don't really like, love coconut though, right? Yeah, exactly. I just kind of am like okay with it. Mm -hmm. But if you love coconut, those are pretty freaking good. You're gonna love these. Are you extremely <laughs> happy? <laughs> I love them. <laughs> this is great. The next thing. Mm. Oh no! Are you prepared for no. this, Cambria? No. These are the Sun Food Superfood Nutrient Rich Chlorella, or however you say it, tablets. It's a green superfood. So each tablet, this is crazy. Oh no, that's 12 tablets. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh I'm no. <laughs> I thought that one tablet oh. had two grams of protein. I was like, dang. Whoa. You have to eat 12 tablets for two grams. But I've heard that this is really good. It's really high in iron. It is. And it's supposed to be just really, really good for you. So I think it's Try also it. gonna taste like poop, but we're gonna find out right now. You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Green hands. It's good. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, it's gross. It's gross. Blech. Ew, ew, ew. I'm sorry. <laughs> ew. Ugh. Oh, that's so gross. Okay. Definitely Let's... don't get those. Yeah, I mean, if you want them for the health benefits, that's fine. But if do you... not think it's going to taste good. Do not be under the false impression that it will be yummy. Okay, now, this is the organic chocolate covered cacao nibs. Cacao is like the rawest form of chocolate there is. And so this is really high in antioxidants. So we're going to try it. Here we go. Okay. I love all this, like, staring at each other and counting down. And then One, trying it, too. It's, like, really high. It's intense. intense. Yeah. It's pressure. Okay, we might have to get, like, a couple because they're, like, super teeny. There we go. And this isn't as, like, scary as, Yeah, like, these aren't, I mean, it's chocolate. Like, How bad could it be? Yeah. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Mmm. So good. Mmm. You know what? Mm. I thought they were going to be really crunchy because they're cacao nibs. Mm hmm <clears throat> They're not. <clears throat> so in the Pops ingredients in this are like, <coughs> don't die. My eyes are watering. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> who knew that a hog would be so intense? Really intense. That's really, really. The good. only thing in here is dark chocolate and organic roasted cacao nibs. So I mean, those are really good. Really, really, really mm -hmm. good. Okay, so the next thing I have. I don't think we need to try. You've tried this before, right? I haven't, actually, oh. no. I just saw them. Welcome to my, uh, one of my obsessions. I'm obsessed with these. But oh, they... you've had them? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I haven't. And I was the one that was like, hey. I buy these on the reg. The reason that this is exciting is because this is the Halloween size package. So they're all individual. They don't normally come out like that? Oh, no, they that's like... why you were so excited about them. Mm -hmm. okay. You were like, wow, I'm really excited. Yeah, it's like the Reese's like, wow. cups. You know how they sell two of them in a Reese's cup? Right. That's how they sell these. Oh, I was gonna say, because they were those were sitting next to these. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, this is not going over so That's all right. Uh, yeah. issues. So this is the Halloween. They package them so cute. They're not just like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they are mini. They're in like full on. Dan said they were mini, but I was like, they're not mini. Oh, look, it says Justin's. Here we go. I don't think it used to say Justin's on there. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. So flipping good. Okay, I hate this whole thing. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> so good. I buy them all the time and I stick them in the freezer. Ooh. And then I eat them at night, like after my food. If I'm like watching a movie, I'll just pull out my Justin's cups and I'll eat them while I'm watching a movie. That's probably, how I eat. They'd probably be really good in smoothies too, frozen. I don't know how that never occurred to me. I'm seriously. This is like a smorgasbord of stuff that we're just getting like this whole taste test. This we, is exciting. And we kind of did like unhealthy healthy. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. Not, we're, I mean, it would kind of be boring to me. We just like... And all... here's a pear. Right. Okay, so this is the... Alter Ego, Bowser really wants some of this. He's freaking out. He loves chocolate. Uh huh. This is the dark quinoa organic chocolate. So this is kind of supposed to be like a healthy version of a crunch bar. <gasps> and quinoa has so much protein in it, it's really, really good for you. So, it's going to be a lot of Why don't you open that and I'm going to tell my dog to stop. 
Bowser's like, I really want this. Bowser's so cute. I'm trying to get him to stop barking at everyone that walks by. He always asks me he wants to eat people. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? And one, two, three, go! It definitely has kind of the crunch. It's dark chocolate. That's actually really good. This is very good. That's so weird that the flavor like snuck up on you. Like I didn't taste anything it did, for five yeah. seconds. I was mm -hmm. like, what's going on? You kind of tasted like the crunch. The crunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after a second, mm -hmm. the chocolate flavor mm -hmm. came on. That's really good. It's really good. I have this Love weird it. thing. So I didn't eat sugar for about eight months when I lived in Singapore. And ever since then, I can't handle as much sugar at once. So like I took one bite and I'm like, it's true, your taste buds kind of adjust. I think I'm gonna set this here for two seconds. What were you gonna say, especially what? No, especially when you start eating healthier, your body like craves those foods and like your taste mm -hmm. buds change. You start literally craving vegetables. So oh, we have another <laughs> cocoa runes. Nikki's like, I hate this. I'm wondering if I should pass on this one. This one's vanilla maple. So I don't know. Okay, let's try. Here we go. You don't have to. Do you want to? Do you want to split, split it in half? Yeah, let's split one in half. Yeah, we're getting, like, we're getting a lot of sweets. I'm just overloading her with coconut. She's like, I can't. Yeah, you're really. I'll take the tiny one. Okay, take the teeny little one. Okay, okay. ready? One, one, two, two three. three. Yeah, I don't like that one either. But I can tell. I don't really like that one at all. You don't? Is Wait. that going in the return pile? Yeah, this is going in the return. That's the really great thing about Whole Foods is they mm. will let you return anything. Anything that they sell, they will take it back. So you can feel free to like experiment and buy things that you don't know if you're going to like because yeah. they'll take it back, no questions asked. This tastes like vanilla extract, like just straight up vanilla extract. I'm trying like, to not breathe through my nose, really. Yeah, this is not good at all. I mean, it's... Ugh. Okay, so I am going to hop into beauty products now. I have a couple yeah. of things that I bought there. The first one is this Deep Steep Clean Pure Natural Lavender Chamomile Sugar Scrub. So this is just a body scrub, at least I'm assuming it's a body scrub. It's what I bought it for. And yeah, the packaging is really cute and it smells really good. You want to smell it? Yeah, I want to smell it. Take this off. Oh, I think I got a different one than what I smelled at the store, but I like lavender too. <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't actually mean to buy a lavender scrub. That's I what just ended up with it. Because I have, I have lavender scrub in my shower, and I thought, <coughs> I'll buy a different scent. No, it smells really good. It does smell good. It's actually not super strong lavender. I feel like there's other notes. It almost smells like kind of eucalyptus -y. It does kind of. It smells really good. It smells like a spa, like a natural spa. I'm kind of debating returning it and yeah. getting a different scent. But this smells... It smells really good. Like, incredible. Yeah, so, definitely. Um, that's the first beauty product. And then mine, just because you can't get enough coconut no, for me. No, never. I got this black coconut. This is like an essential perfume oil. So, my mom actually can't be around, like, fragrances. So, this is natural. It's just an oil. So, I got the so coconut good. one. It smells... It just smells like straight up coconut. Yeah, it smells so, so good. It's really good and it's natural, so there's no like weird, you know, synthetic bonding or whatever. Yeah. Well, that line in general, my sisters tried a bunch of perfumes from them and they all smell good. And it's cool that they're all natural. Like you said, if you can't handle normal scents. And I like that it's Ron and it was only like $8. Yeah, super affordable. Yeah. So the next thing that I got was from that same line. And I actually got this, the Deep Steep uh, Honeydew and Spearmint bubble Ooh, bath. That's gonna smell so good. Mm -hmm. And the reason I got it is because I have been taking more baths lately. I've mentioned it before. I take Epsom salt baths for like my joints, and I like putting something in there other than just Epsom salt. So I've been putting Lush in, but I'm out of my little Lush bubble bars, and plus it's just more expensive. This was like eight dollars for the whole thing, mm -hmm. and it smells. Oops. Ooh, I'm excited to smell this. I think it smells good. It's interesting. I it's love really honeydew interesting though. Smell. So. Oh no, I love that. Isn't that a really interesting smell? It's very smell? interesting. It's kind of light. It's very refreshing. It almost yeah. smells like clean. That's why. Like, not like cleaning supply, but, but just clean. I didn't even realize that I got two products from the same line. But anyway. You're just looking in that section. I so know. It just happened. And then, okay, everyone's going to be like, okay, this girl's coconut crazy, but I am. It's okay. Um, I got the Kiss My Face. This is the coconut pineapple. Ooh! Add pineapple. This is the lip balm. It's just a lip balm, and I don't know how it smells, so let's just Let's figure out how this smells. It's probably gonna smell it's like probably gonna smell good. Pina colada. I, it doesn't have like a super. It's not strong. But it is nice. No, it is. It's subtle. But it's very I mean, it's subtle. It's just a chapstick. So how do you want like your lips to be like? Yeah. Super. Whoa! What's that smell? Yes. That's good. I like it. I think it's gonna be good. And it has SPF 15, which is 
great. Oh, that's nice. Now, my last thing is the rose water. I haven't bought this stuff in forever. That's cool. I'm mildly obsessed with facial sprays, and this one's nice because if I'm wanting something really simple and calming, it's just rose water. And it's pink. Uh huh. Sorry, like but I had to add that. It's so cute. Ooh. Does it smell good? Let me smell. It smells like rose. Ooh, it, it smells rose so water. good. It's nice for the days when oh I want to spray my, my face and I want it to be simple. It smells good in here. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it smells like rose and, and bananas. It smells amazing. It's so good. <laughs> okay, what are yours? The last oh. thing I got. This smells amazing. It smells really good. Can you guess what flavor this is? Ready, guess, guys, in the okay. comment section. One, two, guess. Leave a comment right now. Okay. Go. Honey! No, just kidding. <laughs> it's, it's honey coconut. And this actually has vanilla and violet sandalwood in it. It smells so good. This smells amazing and it's supposed to be natural. So hopefully my mom like won't get headaches from it. But oh. this literally smells like sweet, melted, yes. sugary honey and coconut. It smells like it smells like a warm tropical yeah, island. Yeah. It's not all sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it warm. Does, yes. It's very warm. warm. It's really good. All right, guys. So we are going to go film the second half of this haul now over on Cambria's channel. So be sure to check that out down below as well as the baking video we are doing on her vlog yes. channel as well as she was in today's Vlogtober as well oh, as we were going to do Ask Nikki together. So yes. Um, yes, check out all of those links down below. We're going to film this now and we will see you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks Bye. for having me on your channel. Of Nikki. course. Yay, we had so I'm much so fun. happy you came up here. So we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. You're not here I come gonna meet you in your seat make your feet go numb like a city